Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child Donkster Born, but built for theme parks and is this the day we could be seeing the brand new roller coaster at the Thought Park Resort in the next couple of years? Now, obviously this is the most subtle of information, but it could be leading to something massive. Now, uh, we're going to share everything that's happened. So basically on the forums, what I spotted was a statement. And I want to give a thank, thank you to Josh C., uh, who's someone on the Thought Park Mania forum. Uh, he's also on the Coaster Force forum, so it's on there as well. And basically all the information's come from uh, from from the forums, from him. And I want to share that information and then share my thoughts on what this, you know, potentially means. Uh, but for now, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Also, guys, check the description down below where you can find links to Twitter, TikTok, Discord, uh, Snapchat, and Instagram, and also the Google Forms where you can submit your video ideas and content suggestions. And for now, guys, let's talk about the potential of a brand new roller coaster at Thought Park Resort. So the official statement is, Back in 2017, the park submitted an application to the local planning authority that would dictate that the park does no longer have to submit the planning permission for ride developments below 82 feet in height and building developments below 16 feet in height. The application seemingly remained dormant for a few years, presumably as the park had no interest, or more likely budget, in pursuing significant developments. However, out of nowhere, recently the application has resurfaced, with a decision to deadline being placed in mid-April of 2021. It seems for some reason there is now purpose and a desire for the park to have such a request approved. Coincidentally, last week various aerial images of the Old Town slash Loggers Leap area of Thought Park made their way around the UK enthusiast circles. These images showed significant tree clearance had occurred over the course of the 2020 season. The cleared area is long, straight and narrow and would seem to be a large enough to be part of an out and back coaster layout. GCI has said they've been on, on multiple projects ongoing in Europe, and with Wickerman being a successor at Alton Towers with a similar theme already being de deployed at Heidi Park, who's to say that Merlin won't use a tried and tested marketable product at Thought Park? Additionally, with the planning decision due by mid-April, presuming a potential 2023 opening for a new attraction, if this is what's happening, this would give the park time to prepare a planning application for the 2023 project should the April decision be a refusal. Alton Towers applied for Wicker Man back in June 2016 for a March 2018 opening, so it's not completely out of the question. While 82 feet isn't very tall, there are other GCI roller coasters like Prowler, that are great rides and are in that height range. Now they're not saying the park are definitely getting a new coaster and maybe the tree clearance is for another reason. But what they are saying is that Thorpe wouldn't spend hundreds of thousands on tree clearance and resurfacing an old planning application for no reason. Plus the park are long overdue for a brand new roller coaster and the timing of the two events is suspicious to say the least. And I agree with that ending statement. It's very, very suspicious even if it turns out to be nothing. And it should be very very interesting indeed so there we go ladies and gentlemen thrill seeks of all ages that is looking at the information the rumors from the statement on the forum to to say exactly what's happening so the plans have been resurfaced for this this application this this planning application and basically the new deadline is mid april this year so, so hopefully we're going to have some more confirmation of that in the next month or so and basically, I think with the tree clearance, I think Jack Silkstone pointed it out in his latest construction, um, like construction vlog, walking down Monk's Walk uh, during lockdown exercise. And you know, I think he said something about the tree clearance being for something else. But you never know. You never know. Maybe it could be all hush hush for now. And you know, they wouldn't chop. They wouldn't spend hundreds of thousands to chop down loads of trees if it wasn't for for anything temporary and also with the planning application surfacing it does put two and two together it becomes very suspicious obviously we're not going to confirm anything at this early stage however this could be the foundations for some very very exciting news coming for 2023 uh which is hopefully the next brand new roller coaster because don't forget 2022 will have been 10 years since the swarm and you know 2023 will be 11 years since the swarm so they're long overdue for a brand new roller coaster. And I think the, um, you know, I think the, the the rise and fall of Darren Brown's Ghost Train as an investment will have been a helping factor in Thorpe not making a large investment for a good number of years now. 
and you know i think six or seven years without a, a large investment for like the thrill seekers i think that's long enough completely that's long enough so i'd like to see a brand new roller coaster if it is going to be a gci um then i'd like that i really really love that because you know what thought park could do with the gci that can make it larger than wicker man maybe on the same level as colossus in terms of a layout at heidi park so and i think a wooden coast would do the part really really well especially with alton towers getting a wooden coaster in 2018 and you know heidi park rebranding and refurbishing and reopening their wooden coaster that closed for a few years before so you know i think the 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 the, the sort of brand of the wooden coaster and to be fair and this is nothing to do with sns obviously because the rumor is gci but uh, we spoke in that SNS interview, and with jo it was with Josh Hayes, that interview. Please go and check those out, by the way. Brilliant interviews with Lars Lenders and Josh Hayes. And we said in that interview with Josh Hayes, I think Josh said it himself, 2023 and 2024 will probably be the most exciting years. And, you know, I don't put that to just SNS. I put that to the whole of the industry. I think 2023 and 2024, you see a lot of openings, a lot of brand new rides, a lot of investment. It's all going to go down in those couple of years. So, um, very exciting potentially. And I want to share your thoughts. Comment down below what you think. And we're going to, uh, obviously, I'll reply to every single comment. You know I always do. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Very exciting news, and I can't wait to hear more. Take care, guys. Have a Thorpe-tastic day. Please, Thorpe Park, bring us a new coaster.